Realme, a company for Indians, by Indians, to Indians. By the way, the full potential is going to the word Indians, right? Which literally translates to two things. Value for money and value for money. And under 15K, I couldn't think of anything else than the Realme 3 Pro. Hey, the question for today is how did it stack up after the 2-3 month period of usage? Now let's talk about design and mode. It is plastic, metal and glass which literally translates it's hard, it's rough, it's prone to scratches easily and it is easily breakable. But if you take really good care in this scenario, it will last you or serve you very nice. For the past one or two months, I felt like ergonomically it is a well designed phone. I never felt any discomfort holding it or it lasted two months without any hiccups from design and build side. So now it's time for us to talk about the OS. It is color OS and straight off let me say color OS is fun to mess with. I mean settings everything looks so colorful and it's easy to use but if you're a stock guy or guy who loves stockishness you're gonna miss that here. But other than that the color OS is fast, snappy, it's good for uh, all day performance or day to day performance but by any means I can't say that the OS is perfect or nearly perfect. It's stutters sometimes but it is actually a good OS comparing to all of this. It's a light skin that's something to keep in mind it don't draw battery that much and I, I think for everyday to day usage and some multi usage it is a good OS that you can go with. Talking in the battery life department it's 40 45 mAh yes 45 mAh more than this Xiaomi Note 7 Pro and I think it is good battery life lasts forever you can game heavily you can rely on this for extended period of time you don't feel any heating issues related to the battery for extensive gaming or overcharging it and yes it's micro USB but it's fun because of the Vook 3.0 this is tremendously fast. In fact, this is one of the fastest chargers that I have ever used in my entire life. I can give up that USB Type-C for this Vogue charger, but anyways, battery life department, you won't miss anything. Heating issue is not granted. I mean, like, uh, fast charging is there, like, it's tremendously fast. In fact, one of the fastest that I have ever used. And 40, 45 mAh battery, I think it's more than enough for some daily, day-to-day -day task. And some, you can do, insist on heavy gaming also. And performance-wise, trust me, it's Snapdragon 710. And the really big here is, is it better than this Xiaomi? Not 7 Pro. And my answer is if you're a gamer, dude, it's 710, which means an upgraded Adreno chip. For GPU wise, you can trust me, this is better. And performance wise, nailing games is no greater. Like you can run PUBG Mobiles with, with full animation, like full graphics, without any frame drops or hiccups there and here. And performance wise, trust me, guys, for the price, you can't get a better one. It's snappy in everyday usage. It's just all around a perfect smartphone when it comes to performance in this price bracket. You could, could, you could never go wrong with this in this price bracket for the performance scheme. With that in mind, we come to talk about the display. And dude, it is an LCD panel, not an AMOLED. And in every single video I make a review, I'm gonna say that. AMOLED for life is sure. I mean like LCD panels are not there up to the mark of AMOLED. Blacks are not true blacks. Like LCD is cheap but in this screen it is more beautiful than the Note 7 Pro because of the color variation, color coding, color vibrancy, everything. I felt it a little bit superior than the Note 7 Pro but still keep it in mind that it is an LCD panel and resolution wise it got plenty of resolution or screen resolution. In fact you can do some light photo editing or anything like that. I mean the screen looks sharp and crisp but my only complaint is LCD. Dude, but 
don't get me wrong for this price you don't see any phone with this specs and with an AMOLED LED display so that's something to keep in mind but while I was filming the last day I felt like if it had a little more brightness or nits to it it would make a perfect LCD in the segment for the price I feel like the nit should be a little more I mean like the brightness is not that bad but it is not that good though and with that let's talk about the last thing cameras and cameras really seem to impress me for this price you can't really go wrong with the cameras because it's it's sharp you got dual camera setup and by the way portraits from this photo or camera looks just perfect I mean like I really like the portraits in this better than the iPhone 10 R. I mean for like some reasons I just love portraits in this camera or with this camera but the colors are always like oversaturated over sharpened like the processing done by realme is not that really impressive but at the end I could leave this camera and this camera is not that bad of a deal I could leave but if you're doing like main video shooting it, it should 4k at 30 frames but again colors look oversaturated and over processed that's something to keep in mind but hey camera wise for quick snaps and all this is more than enough so the verdict for this product is dude just grab this one before we hide the price this is actually a normal rounder phone for this price the realme 3 pro is absolutely value for money and i'm loving so far like the two three months it has lasted perfectly for me unless a realme 4 pro is coming out this is my recommendation under 15k. My name is Reed. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.